Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Area 51. Welcome back to another how to video or a uh, mother of uh, necessity video. <laughs> um, I collect these um, 1 6 scale military figures, uh, dragon military figures. Now, this will work for hot toys or whatever, any kind of 6 or 12 inch or whatever uh, uh, figure you collect, as long as they have some sort of a uniform on that you can use. Uh, one of the hardest things for these things to do is stand. They don't stand well. And if you look at his bottom of his feet, with Dragon, they send you this little heel stand. This one right here. And it's plastic and everything. You put your heel, but they don't, because they're so articulated, nine times out of ten, they just go over and, and then they just continue to fall over. So these stands do not work very well. Ugh. Hard to get his boot out. There we go. So these stands are not a good stand. So I've decided to make my own stands and what I noticed on all of these things is that on the back of them they all have these uniforms and uh, you can use this uniform to your benefit and I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to show you how to build a cheap relatively quick stand that you can build at home uh, even if you live in an apartment building every tool that I'm using here is all hand. Uh, I'm not going to use any power tools so you can uh, figure out uh, if you want to do this in your house or, or any, anywhere else, so let's I'll show you what I'm using. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need baseboard. This is just a house baseboard. You can use any one you want. This is just extra I've had left over. You'll need a pencil. You'll need a set of drills. The one we're going to use is 730 seconds. A piece of sandpaper. A little piece of dowel that you can get at your store. And this is a quarter by 36. I've used it quite a bit. Cordless drill. Uh, miter box. Hammer. And paint. How do we so build it? We come in here and we grab old Lars the sniper. There he is. So I want to a little bit of a bend there, so I'm not going to use that part. So let's say I want to use this part right here. Put him down right about there. Uh, make a mark on this side. Make a mark on this side. So you got your two marks, and that's about how wide you want to be. And uh, you don't have to worry about making these lines straight because when you put them in the miter box to cut them straight, uh, they'll be straight uh, as they should be. So that's that's pretty much where I want old Lars to stand. So we're going to go cut him. So now you have it cut. There it is cut. So now we're just going to sand off the rough stuff. Look pretty. So there it's done there. Just like that. So next portion of our show is uh, going to be drilling, kind of drilling a hole in the middle. Drill through if you want to. Now we've got to go measure. So we put that there, we put a Lars right about there. We take our dowel and we put it there and we see that it goes his jacket. So you could almost go, you got to remember you're going to put about a quarter of an inch in there. So you mark it off right about there. Give yourself a mark right about there. And then you take it outside and you cut it on the miter saw. And then just take a piece of sandpaper and round off the edges. Make the edges nice and round. That looks good. Okay, so we've got our piece with a hole in it. We just take our dowel, put it there, keep it straight, and just pound it in. Now you can glue that if you want to. You can glue it in. One of the reasons I don't glue it is because if I wanted to change the height of my guy like he's kneeling, all I have to do is cut another one like that, pull this one out, put that one in. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty much done. And I'll show you what happens when you uh, hook them all up. So there's the stand, basically the way it works. Let's put it that way. Is because his coat is hanging down, I simply just come in here 
I pull his coat, I put him on the deal there, and I put him in, and I use his coat to hold him up. And I pull his feet back to where I want them, and then I have a stand that works very well. I don't have to worry about him flopping over or anything like that. Now these do have the ridges in them. You don't have to have them. And now you can paint them any color. You can leave this color if you want, or you can paint them any color. I'm going to paint mine green, but uh, he's very stable. And he doesn't, I don't think he's going to fall over at all. But like I say, this works for many things. You can do this for uh, even six inch black series if you wanted to. But uh, I figured I would do it with large, and, and he looks good. He uh, hangs up there, he looks really good. So you can paint these. I'll show you what he now looks like this painted stand. is military, I decided to go with an olive green um, for his base, which gives him that military look. You could go white, black, any color you want, and I just use spray paint. Spray paint works well for wood, and I use the quick drying stuff, so it doesn't take very long for this to dry. So I think he looks pretty good. I think that stand works out really nice. And I'll put him back up in the area and show you him with the rest of the others that are, have their stands built. So a real cheap stand. Uh, doesn't take so much to build it. So very cheap stand, very easy to make, nothing out of the ordinary. Probably take you about two minutes to make one, maybe less, who knows. And what's nice about it is you can put, um, let's say you had some little decals of your channel or whatever, you could put them on here. You could uh, bevel these edges if you wanted to. You could do a lot of things. But it's a real simple stand, uh, goes together very easy, and like I say, I don't glue the peg in, because let's say I wanted to put one of my soldiers kneeling, I could then just use a half a peg and still use the same situation. So it works out real nice. Let's have a look at what so they look there, like with the guys. there is the stands all on these guys. It holds them up nicely. Uh, if you really wanted to get serious, you could put a little bit of a, one of those Elmer's uh, glue tack dots or uh, tack dots on the bottom so of their feet, so they stay right there. But uh, I've had no issues with these. And uh, they look good, they look uniform, easy uh, to make home from homemade stuff, baseboards basically, old baseboards, old 1x4s, whatever, and a miter saw, no glue if you don't want to glue them, you don't have to. But uh, yeah, just a quick little thing, hope you enjoyed it you guys. Uh, easy, cheap stands. I'm going to make some for uh, some 3.75s and show you what those look like uh, eventually. So anyways, Area 51, home of the superheroes and ideas. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.